Hey everyone, welcome back to Design News where I give you the latest and greatest in design news. In today's episode, we'll be seeing a new tool which is giving a lot of competition to After Effects. Also, a designer made $100,000 in one week and I'll show you how you can also. A new website has cropped up which has a lot of no-code tools. These tools are meant for designers like you and I, where we can design and develop at the same time. We don't need any coding experience or anything. This website has all the resources you need to get started. This website has a crazy list of resources, tools and software which will help you develop an application without having any development knowledge of yourself. Breaking news, a designer named Traff made $100,000 in one week of iOS icons. That is crazy. In iOS 14 update, you can add custom icons to your home screen as well as custom widgets. This designer took advantage of that, used his own design skills to create his own icon pack, got featured on MKBHD or Marques Brownlee's video, and in one week managed to make a hundred thousand dollars. I'll have a link in the description with websites where you can upload your own designs for iOS packs and you can earn money on your own as well. If you're a designer looking to make a good buck and a quick buck in a certain way, you can make a lot of money through designing iOS icons. An entire library of AR or augmented reality tools and resources has just cropped up. If you're interested in designing AR experiences, which is the next design trend, you should hop onto this website, check out what they have to offer, all the free resources they have, and also a lot of paid subscription services that they have for you to learn AR design and also to join their large community of AR designers. Also, we'll be making a lot of more AR videos from now on because this is a really cool resource that we can really try out. Cavalry is the new After Effects killer. I haven't tested out the software completely myself, so I can't give you my review on it. But yes, a video will be coming on the channel about Cavalry. Cavalry provides an interface very similar to that of After Effects also provides the same functionality, the timeline functionality, which everybody is used to using After Effects. Also, the biggest thing about Cavalry is it is free to download. You can get the full software for free on your system for both Mac as well as Windows. Apart from that, they also have some unique features of their own, which makes Cavalry stand out from the competition. Also, it plays around with real data. So if you have information on your Google Sheets or Excel, you can convert that into real graphs that you can play around and animate with. A lot of the features that you get in After Effects using plugins you get in Cavalry inbuilt. The Cavalry community has been making a lot of cool designs. I'll have something beh playing behind me so you know what I mean. All these designs are made solely in Cavalry using no other third party software or plugin. I'm so impressed that I will make a video on Cavalry very soon on how to create your own complex animations for free. In other news, Wix has introduced a lot of cool new things. Wix, the site which is used to make websites for free, has introduced their own custom font. And the name is very interesting. It's called Made For. Maybe saying that it's made for your website. And as Wix says, it has its own personality, which I really like. This is a complete toolkit that you'll be able to use in websites that you make with Wix. And I've also come across something called Wix Playground. If you are a web designer or a designer in general, they have a lot of cool free resources, blogs, and a lot of cool stuff that you can read upon, download, and use in your own design projects. They also have a cool virtual event section where they have a lot of virtual events that you can come to virtually on your PC. They're trying to bring the community together by giving free inspiration, toolkits, resources, as well as events. So go check that out as well. That was it for today's episode of Design News. Make sure you smash, smash the subscribe button and also smash, smash this like button. That helps my channel grow. 